<laughs> no, don't do it. I'm warning you, don't. No, I, I don't want to help. Why is nobody helping me? If you're caught in a spot and you really need somebody's help, you can be sure nobody's there. <laughs> Oh no! Uh -huh. And and now you want to shoot me as well? Oh well, go ahead. Do what you have to do. I, Simon the greatest sorcerer of the magic world, will leave this world with dignity. What are you talking about, sir? First, let me extend a warm welcome to you here aboard the Ariba in the name of the entire crew and all the guests on board. You don't need to have reservations. We just want to take a picture of you. If you're feeling threatened by our cameras, we'll gladly put them away, though. Cameras? What the... And why can I understand you all of a sudden? You're able to understand us because you're connected to our ship's translation system. And now, please follow us. From here, we control our touristic excursions. Look, there's your nice planet. Why are you destroying our world, though? We're not destroying worlds. We're preserving their histories. We representatives of Outer World Tours, Inc. fly from planet to planet to give our people the chance to take pictures of the last moments of those worlds. The universe is dying, you know, and this way, we play a part in contributing to preserving the memory of it. We're peaceful tourists. We've booked the extra-long fantasy tour with spectacular views of the ruins that remain of these lost worlds. Complete with half-board and a special attraction, the man with the greatest ego in the entire universe. We didn't want to miss that. Yes, exactly. First, we wanted to book all-inclusive, but then we reconsidered as we didn't want to miss the native cuisine. Many of our satisfied early and late bookers choose that. After all, you want to have something to tell the folks back at home about. So, armed with a camera and a good mood, off we go to the particular world. Then everybody starts snapping as much as they can to take home as many memories as possible. It's sad, really. When we get home, those worlds have ceased to exist. Thus, we have to plan every voyage from scratch but that's what makes them so special, on the other hand. You brought me into focus of your weapons, uh, I mean cameras, and pulled the trigger. I slammed the door shut at once, plaster fell from the wall, and soon after the whole house collapsed. You took a picture of the statue, and it partially crumbled to dust. You've stormed the inventor's hut, snapped your pictures, and chaos broke loose. Hmm, destroyed houses, destroyed statues, Chaos, dying worlds, and what's always present are the cameras of those dwarves. Those things cause a wave of real bad luck. Waves of bad luck! That's it! The cameras are the problem. They cause waves of bad luck leading to the destruction of whole worlds, of course! You green gnomes storm one world after the next, causing catastrophes wherever you go. Your cameras are something like weapons after all. They seem to emit waves of bad luck when you use them, and you don't even know! No, you've got it all wrong. Uh, we're just taking pictures. We're not causing waves of bad luck. We've got nothing to do with the subsequent destruction of those worlds. Absolutely nothing at all. We'd never destroy worlds. We're a touristic enterprise. Now we've got to hurry, because next on our schedules, the panorama shot of the planet with all our tour guests. That's the successful conclusion of every tour. So, chop chop! Mm. Oh no, wait, just one moment, I'll prove to you that your cameras send out waves of bad luck. Now take a picture of me, do it! A picture of the man with the biggest ego in the universe and that funny hat! Ha! <laughs> the others will be surprised! There! Did you see that? That doesn't prove anything. It was an old rickety console that could have blown up last week just as well. Wait! Please wait! There's somebody else who can confirm my theory!
Simon to Talpaville. Simon to Talpaville. Can you hear me, Talpaville? We can hear you loud and clear, Simon. You've successfully completed your mission. Listen, guys, I need your help. The Nahonians believe... The signal is loud and clear. Thank you for your help. By taking the homing device in the walkie-talkie to the eye of death, we can now commence our safety measures. It was very nice of you to sacrifice yourself. Over and out. What? How? Hello? Hello? We've received the signal and have a clear trajectory now. So be it. It's time to put an end to this threat once and for all. Give the start signal. The cockroach has nested. The hornets will breed. I repeat, the hornets will breed. Understood. The crane is biting the earthworm. Non-tourist flying objects have been launched and are now on a direct course toward us. Non-tourist flying objects? What could they be? Oh, those are missiles! Those earth diggers are trying to blow you, uh, uh, us into space! You need to fire with everything you've got! We don't have anything to fire with. We're a cruise ship full of tourists. Damn! What about your cameras? Fire those and cause waves of bad luck to hit the missiles! Won't the bad luck make the missiles unpredictable? They could fall back to the planet or create a black hole. We could flee, of course, but we wouldn't get far without our main computer. You're responsible for that, just to remind you of this unpleasant fact. Oh, let's just stop blaming each other. We've got to work together. Open a channel to those moles, we'll just talk with them and clear up the matter. Carrier signal of the walkie-talkie transferred to the screen. Translation matrix engaged. This is the Imperial Council of the Old Ones. Uh, Simon, are you crazy? You're giving away our position to the enemy. Enemy, that's a good cue. There's a lot of misunderstandings we've got to clear up at once. Friends, tourists, inhabitants of the magic world. We must face a few moments of great effort to avert the crisis at hand. In these days, events of shattering magnitude have taken place. Green, fat freaks from outer space have caused havoc on our planet like German tourists on Mallorca. That's right. What impertinence. Those freaks from outer space are just out to cause trouble. They lie on our beaches, setting up catastrophes of all kinds. They drink sangria out of buckets and call it an authentic Magic World welcoming drink experience. Pooh! At this point, many will ask, who's to blame for all this misery? Those fat green things, obviously. Who else? I'm sure this is a mere misunderstanding, valued Earth dwellers. Just let us shoot a farewell picture, then we'll leave you in peace. In medieval times, they had the best way of dealing with situations like this, the stake. Tie the moles and Nihonians to one, light it, and all problems will just go up in smoke. That's a very far-reaching demand, uh, young man. I don't think our guests would like to burn. Could we consider our alternatives here? The moles wanted to save the magic world from the alien menace. They even went through the Earth's crust, and that takes a lot for them. Finally, someone notices. Okay, so the matter is somewhat trickier. Uh, let's look at what part the Nihonians have played up to now.
We inhabitants of the magic world were peaceful hunters and gatherers until the green man came with his photo cameras. Using credit cards, he brought greed into our souls and his holiday bungalows desecrate our holy hunting grounds. Stop! Have you gone mad? Don't trust the aliens! Those monsters will send you to your doom! Yes! They're already planning your downfall! Those who do die immediately are the lucky ones! The poor remainders will be abused for horrible experiments! But Dr. Walden, the Nahonians would never do something like that. The Neo? No! Not the green ones! The black ones are the problem! What kind of accusations are those? We will not take this kind of nonsense! Dr. Walden, if you want to be taken seriously here, take off that silly sock and put it in a washing machine. Very good. That's how you've got to deal with lunatics like him. My goodness, they've been changed already. Yes, they've been changed already. By brain rays, probably. That's very improbable. Commercial television's not allowed aboard this ship, so our brains should be all right. I need to get out of here! Mr. Sorcerer, good news. The main computer's working again. We can evade the missiles now. Neat work. Then let's get out of here. Just a second. Of course we don't want to go without our panorama shot of the magic world. We've listened to your deliberations, but they've not convinced us. Unfortunately, we've also got to tell you you've made a rather prejudicial impression on us. What? No! <laughs> Whoa! Divination in color! I don't like the program yet, though. Maybe it'll get better after another bottle of rum. <laughs> Friends, tourists, inhabitants of the magic world. Psycho aliens are battling with semi-intelligent moles, and everybody else has to pay for it. Uh, are you going to insult all of us one by one now, Simon? This is, not, this is not about insulting anybody. Your idiotic ways have brought death and destruction upon us. At this point, many will ask, who's to blame for all this misery? Those fat green things, obviously. Who else? I'm sure this is a mere misunderstanding, valued Earth dwellers. Just let us shoot a farewell picture, then we'll leave you in peace. In medieval time, that's a... I... Um, I meant something completely different. You're all to blame, so choose a road to reconciliation. Peace and reconciliation are the right way forward. Maybe you're right. But we're not convinced yet. Go on. Okay, so the matter is somewhat trickier. Uh, let's look at what part the Nihonians have played up to now.
The Nahonian's ugliness is as unbearable as the mole's tangy body odor. How dare you! All right, if that's how you want to do it. Launch the second wave of missiles! Why are you being so unfriendly, dear sir? Please just let us take the picture. Okay, okay. I can tell the world's not ready yet to deal with my brave thesis, so let me say... I'm not taking anything back. I think you're all absolutely gross. Stop! Have you gone mad? Yes! The... But Dr. Vanille... Stop! What kind of accusation? Of course the moles are scoundrels, but are the Nahonians really any better? We strongly protest against these allegations. We strongly protest as well. Our involvement in the collapse of Sleeping Beauty's tower could never be proven. They're all crazy. We're too late. Let's disappear, Dr. Walden. Go get an aluminum helmet at once. Otherwise, we're not immune to their brain rays! You've gone too far with your teasing us, Simon! Prepare for the complete atomizing of your molecular structure! Emperor, you don't really want to blow us up, do you? At least, not me! Ah! 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 Divination in color. I don't like the program yet, though. Maybe it'll get better after another bottle of rum. <laughs> Friends, tourists, inhabitants of the magic world. We must face a few moments of great effort to avert the crisis at hand. In these days, events of shattering magnitude have taken place. There were serious casualties, as well as some fatalities. One thing's for certain, something has happened we all need to think about. At this point, many will ask, who's to blame for all this misery? Those fat green things, obviously. Who else? I'm sure this is a mere misunderstanding, valued Earth dwellers. Just let us shoot a farewell picture, then we'll leave you in peace. The most important things in life are love, friendship, and community. Well, maybe apart from pizza and TV, but you know what I'm trying to say. There'll be time for love and all that jazz. Just as soon as we've blown these invaders away. Remember what that prophet said to that small uh, fat guy from the Far East? On that hill? Or, or was it in a wood? Anyway... If you thump somebody, he's going to hit you back for real. That's why you guys should get along with each other, because otherwise, uh, th there'll be trouble, okay? But we just wanted to take pictures of your nice little houses and lovely hills. Lovely hills? I bet you wanted to take some nude pictures, the way you're grinning. Okay, so the matter is somewhat trickier. Uh, let's look at what part the Nihonians have played up to now. They are shining examples in the fight against primitive barbarism of our world. These valiant champions brought the secrets of fire, photography, and package holidays to the magic world. We should be thankful to them forever. Stop! Have you gone mad? Don't trust the aliens! Those monsters will send you to your doom! Yes! They're already planning your downfall! Those who die immediately are the lucky ones! The poor remainders will be abused for horrible experiments! But Dr. Walden, the Nahonians would never do something like that. The Neo? No! Not the Green Ones! 
The black ones are the problem! What kind of accusations are those? We will not take this kind of nonsense. Dr. Walden, if you want to be taken seriously here, take off that silly sock and put it in a washing machine. Very good. That's how you've got to deal with lunatics like him. My goodness, they've been changed already. Yes, they've been changed already. By brain rays, probably. That's very improbable. Commercial television's not allowed aboard this ship, so our brains should be all right. I need to get out of here! Well, that was that. Where were we? Didn't I do a great job mediating between the two parties? Isn't peace just a few small steps away? I want to say that we're not amused anymore. We prefer savages who quietly stay in their primitive huts and gratefully accept our shining golden space coins. Instead, you attack and insult us. The morale's dropping, Mr. Simon. We Nihonians strongly resent your words. As a protest, even the big bingo tournament for tonight was canceled. Instead, there'll be only the standard dinner menu of ten courses. Nobody wanted to offend the Nihonians. Your gold and space coins are very welcome here. Let's become reconciled so our liquor stores and streetwalkers can make big bucks again. Streetwalkers? Michael, don't even think about it. But, darling, that's part of the local culture. Do you want me to enrage their gods? All questions of guilt aside, the magic world has suffered enough. So I say... Listen to me, aliens and moles. I think you've bothered the magic world long enough. Today's the day when we'll celebrate our independence. Our independence from you morons. You're a traitor, Simon. It's you who'll burn in a pretty ball of fire. Together with these green invaders. Number two. What are you doing? You're ruining the negotiations and throwing us all into misfortune and catastrophe. Shoo, shoo! Back into your basket, you loser! I'm glad to see you're back in service number three. Come here and finally serve the canopies and drinks. Canopies? Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, dear aliens, may I introduce to you our senior stewardess. She'll delight all members of this conference with canapes and very tasty coffee shortly. Simon? We'd better cancel the transmission before the coffee gets cold. By all the blind mole gods, that's enough. Your babble is nowhere near enough to convince us. Our intelligence photographs clearly prove the Neholian's aggressive nature. If you don't supply good arguments at once, we'll blow up the eye of death, and that's that! Just a second. Photographs, you say? I've got a great idea for reconciliation. How about a joint slideshow evening? Intelligence photos of the moles, together with holiday pictures of the Nahonians? That'd be super fun! Yes, that sounds great. It does, especially when there's pictures of Simon, too. We've read a lot about his magical abilities in our guidebook. I knew you had good taste. We have recordings on Simon. They're not top secret, either. They're rather trivial, in fact. Mostly, you can see him visiting the Swampling daily to take a bath in Swamp. Uh, but we, we don't need to get into that in more detail right now. In any case, we found our common ground, so now let's continue. All right, let's not talk about the differences between moles and Nahonians any longer. Let's talk about what you have in common. What we have in common? 
with those, well, borrowers. <laughs> Come off it. We've achieved the highest level of civilization. Tourism. Both of you are eager to learn and open-minded, and yet so down to earth. Down to earth, yes, that's what we are. Since all have spoken now, and soon my favorite TV show is on, let's get to the end. So do you want to continue bashing each other's deformed heads in, or will there be a great peace celebration together with pizza and children's sparkling wine? How about a cold war? With agents? With a lot of agents? And gripping thrillers about agents for the in-flight movie choice? Our guests just love those. Okay, so, Cold War it is. Without battles, but with cool agents and hot stunts. Main thing is, you Nahonians have got to be careful with your cameras from now on, and you moles have got to stop doing those kidnappings, okay? The Central Board of Tourism has already called all ships back. We've got to completely reconsider our tourism management. Please do show up once in a while, though. Otherwise, our agents won't have anything to do. And now, let's get rid of those missiles. Simon, I'll save you! I've knocked the stuffing out of that computer! Actually, it's me who's pulled the chestnuts out of the fire. What? No, I've saved the world using the power. I am the deranged one. Come, let's celebrate. Unfortunately, the minibar's empty. <laughs> I've already had a little bit of pre-celebration. Double. That's the first true thing you've said all day. But now, get lost. These guys just want to applaud me, and I want to enjoy that. Just you wait, you non-believer. The power will teach you respect. You're just the same loser as always, Wolf. And now get back to your bar counter where you belong. But I was the deranged one. I had the power. By flipping this switch, I'll cause all missiles to self-destruct. There. Oh, that was close. What would you guys do without me? But let's not kid ourselves, that was just another normal day for a true hero like me. I've done it once again. Although, I feel I've forgotten something. Simon, where have you been? Don't tell me you've forgotten me. 